everyone, this is Nick Winkleman, the Head of Athletic Performance and Science for the Irish Rugby Football Union, back again with a quick at-home tip here today specifically to talk about speed. So while you probably don't have 20 to 40 meters, it doesn't mean you can't work on your speed while you're at home. We're going to take you through a series of drills that you can do in your back garden, in your front yard, even in your living room. You only need a couple meters. You can even do all of them in place if you'd like. For our first movement, we're going to go through a basic marching skill. This is going to establish the foundation of all running skills, whether we're talking attack, defense, or you're going for a jog around your neighborhood. So when we look at a march, we simply want to be nice and tall. I like to imagine that my feet are inside of a circle. We're going to zip our body up the same way we'd zip up a jacket. And when it comes to the march, it's nice and simple. We're going to lift up and drive down. As I said, you can do this in place or simply take it forward a couple meters. Key focus point, stay tall. Nice strong push off the ground and good high lift. We always like to joke, you should be able to put a cup of tea on your knee. For our second movement, we're going to go from a march to a skip. And today we're going to show you two different kinds of skips, a slow and a fast. We'll start with the slow. So again in place, we're inside of our circle, everything zipped up nice and tall. And we're going to bring just a little bit of tempo rhythm that I'm going to call out. One, two, one, two. Once you're ready, take it forward. Nice and easy. One, two, one, two. Again, you can see a little bit of rhythm off the ground. That one, two count will help get you going. You want to be nice and tall, quick off the ground, again like it's on fire. And finally, that leg is high enough as if you can put a cup of tea right on your knee. Third movement now, we're going from that slow to that fast skip. Now with this fast skip, it's a bit more advanced. It might take you a couple sessions to get it down. But the easiest way to think about it is imagine you're at the beach. And when you're doing this skip and your feet hit the ground, it's as if both of your footprints are landing right together. Or another way to think about it is if both feet are splashing in a puddle. So once again, we're in our circle, zipped up. I'll start in place, then move forward. As I said, imagine both feet making footprints next to each other in the sand or splashing, splashing, splashing together in a puddle. As you can see, it's faster than our last skip. And we'll take it forward. Push, push, push. Key with this one, as with the others, zip up, stay tall. Quick off the ground. Only difference is this time both feet land together. Pick the visual that makes sense to you. And as you get better, you can continue to climb and drive that thigh to the sky, just like an elevator going up floors. Once you've laid the foundation of your march, slow skip, and fast skip, then we can start to speed things up, working on the technique more similar to actual running. So most of us have done the next activity. Call it high knees, sometimes we call it high heels, but still all the principles remain. Start in our circle, we are gonna zip up, and we're simply looking to cut through that air as fast as we can while maintaining our body height. In place, then to forward. Boom, push. Push, take it forward, and relax. So we're looking for reps, but even as you saw there, I could hold a conversation. So don't hold that tension in. Let it out, slice and dice that air as fast as you can. For our final activity, we wanna put a little bit of a challenge for you. So same exact high knee or high heel movement, but this time, pause every third contact. Literally pause as if someone wanted to snap a photo of you. What this is going to force you to do is make sure you're bringing all the technique that those first couple movements focused on. One, two, three. 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 Again, when we're going through that, if we're accelerating our leg high enough, fast enough, we're gonna be able to pause. We're gonna be able to stop. But if you're not bringing that leg up, you're gonna find yourself fall forward. So keep practicing until you can pause on the three, just like me. So in review, march, slow skip, fast skip, high knee, 
pause on the three. Five movements, in place or moving forward, front garden, back garden, in your house. If you work on those five movements, I promise you, when we come out of this, you'll come out of it faster.